Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi uh, my student Welcome to the class of interpreting So here today I will explain about the understanding of interpreting So here interpreting is also the same method as translation but here are the differences or the uh, um, the meaning of interpreting and translation so interpreting is giving understanding through spoken language and the meaning can be caught easily by the listeners interpreting can also called communication process as speech centered while on the other hand, translation deals with written text, transforming the source text into the comprehensible and equivalent target text. So both of these um, uh, meaning or subject has its similarity and its differences. Let us see the similarities. So those two similarities have the same uh, function, which is uh, interpreting and also translation has transferring meaning and message. And they are both using multilingual language. It means that they both have two different languages, the source language into the target language and then they have good in grammatical and communication so these are the element they have in similar similarities and also they have the differences let us see what are they so the differences between interpreting and translation they are the form the time the accuracy, skills, and media references. So, from the spoken to the written, interpreting is a translation of meaning between spoken word or language. It means that when you do interpreting, it means that you are translation, you're doing translate directly. So, when a person speak of a source language, the translator has to be um, spontaneously translated into its target language. Okay, so the for source language into the target language. The source language is, for example, Indonesia, and then the target language is like English. So there are uh, directly or spontaneously that's when you're doing an uh, interpretation while in translation is the transfer of meaning between a written language so in translation you have a script already and then you have to translate the script that is already written not uh, a script when it's spoken that's the differences between spoken and written or interpreting and translation. Now the next one is time. This is the difference between uh, interpreting and translation. While interpreting occur in real time, it happens in person or the phone or throughout the television or video service. So interpreting it means like you are translating uh, the language as it is spontaneously or uh, at that time or at that moment so for example like you are dubbing dubbing for a anime or dubbing for a drama so here is for the interpreting uh, to do its job while in translation it involves the written word it typically takes place longer after a text is created so translation is like a book where a book is already written 
and then you have uh, your time uh, to translate that book so you have more time rather than interpreting you don't have time you have a split second to think of a word or to translate that sentence directly and the next one is the accuracy or the level of accuracy interpreter aim to be completely accurate it is difficult to achieve in a live conversation they may omit some details of the original speech as they interpret into the target language so yes interpreting is a lot harder or a lot difficult because sometimes you don't get that um, words uh, when a person is speaking uh, directly and sometimes you miss um, some of the sentence while in the translator uh, have time to evaluate and revise each word and sentence before delivering their product so they can achieve a greater level of accuracy and a greater fidelity to the original so here a translator job is more um, easier because they have more time to use the right word in translating a certain uh, sentence or a certain product the next one is about the skill so skill here you have to really pay attention is the reading writing listening and speaking of course as translation need more on reading and writing while on the other hand interpreters work more on listening and speaking so here if you are um, hobby is reading uh, I think translator is the uh, appropriate job for you because translator uh, must read what it's um, need to translate and it has more time and in using the right word so reading and writing is more of a, a translator a job while in, in interpret and work is more on listening because they translate um, the target language while they are listening to the source uh, and then you directly try to translate what the source language is trying to um, uh, give its message and then for the next slide is the media reference using or not using so here in translator uh, it involves the written word is typically take place long after a text is created which gives the translator time to access resources like dictionary glossary subject matter expert so here's like I said before, translation have more time in um, choosing the right word because they can use dictionary and also uh, glossaries and also other uh, uh, support uh, material. While on the other hand, the interpreter must be fluent enough in both the original language and the target language to be able to translate in both directions on the spot without any reference material so here an interpreter must very uh, have a broad knowledge of certain vocabulary because they are trying to translate both direction of language on the spot without any helps like dictionary or glossary or references material uh, so I guess that's or explains about the differences between uh, understanding interpreting and translation uh, I hope you guys uh, can get this and then please try to um, open my youtube channel and 